Suspect had a gun. Wicked! Now they're running. I'll pull a gun. You cooking supper tonight? I am a man. I've got a suspect here. Get out of my way! Get down on the ground. Are you free to cameras? Be yeah. for free. Really? What's your name? I want numbers on badges. If you want me to red river chick, I will. Culprit's not wearing any clothes. I punched him once. Next thing I know, we were going. Hands up. Where's the police siren? Hey, why don't come over, drinking? Who called 911? What is going on in here? They're snooping around. See, this girl wants crack. There's a female waving around a gun. He likes to, to vent. They need to decide to pick on me. Ah! This program contains actual police footage. No reporters, no recreations. This done road here to a beanie and just occurred to a hotel. Uh, apparently two of the supervisors are holding the suspect in custody. Uh, he was found prowling in a parkade and then broke into a storage suite. I guess it says here that the uh, culprit's not wearing any clothes, so we'll have to see what we have when we get there. It'll be interesting to see anyways why he's not wearing any clothes, what his story is. How's it going? Good. Hey, buddy. How are you? I'm really good. How are Just you? Want to turn around there? Put your hands behind your back. No problem. Put the cuffs on there, Trey. What do you guys got here? Um, I got. I said he was naked. Well, shirt off. Oh, he had a shirt off. Okay. Shirt off. Okay. All right. Cleaning our store room. And I don't know how I got in there, why, and just started yammering about We're calling the Christ, the Antichrist. Uh, okay. How we, we've been watching him. Do you want to talk to the caller here? Yeah, just right. not. Is the door been forced open here, or is it? I don't think so. I'm not sure. It might have just been open. Sure. Have you ever been in trouble with this? Um, just a little bit. Uh, not really, though. What kind of stuff? Well, once they had to come to my house, because, uh, some guys stole some money off me, and uh, it was because it was a bad deal, but I lied about it. Okay. And uh, I just didn't want to get in trouble because of marijuana, you know. Do you just smoke a little Mary Jane to yeah, relax? Yeah, that's all, man. Doesn't stick to the as much. How come you wanted to clean this place? Well, because on the inside of the door, it had a sign that said, uh, clean it. OK. Were you naked? No, I just took my shirt off because it was way too hot in here. I, I couldn't figure out how to turn off the heat until uh, I, when I finally did, these uh, gentlemen. One of the porters for the hotel here was doing his rounds, and he noticed a cart in the hallway, so he went to put it into the storage room. And when he opened the door, he found the young lad here not wearing his shirt, uh, trying to do some maintenance in here, I guess. At which point he called the supervisors and uh, they came to detain the fellow and called us. Apparently he broke in here and uh, started cleaning the place up and uh, trying to tur turn the heat down. So as of now, it's got a B&E. I don't know if we'll charge him or not, given the circumstances. He uh, appears to be under the influence of some drugs. There's a rave bar not a block away from here where a lot of kids use meth and uh, ecstasy, which might lead to his confused state there. I think you need somebody to talk to to sort this stuff out that's going on, OK? Like you said, it's confusing. Mm -hmm. So we're going to take you to the hospital. We're going to get somebody running to the hospital, OK? Our cars are full. And you'll find somebody there to talk to. You OK with that? What if I uh, ran for uh, prime minister? Oh yeah. Is that my sights high? Earth? I'd say I'd start with local office first and then move your way up. Build some track record. I kinda. say we legalize pot right off the bat and just have a yeah, party. So? Legalize it like wine and beer and just, just do it responsibly it. and uh, 
tell you what, if you get everybody working. If everyone worked, there would be no problem, right? And everyone would be happy. I mean, everything in moderation, even moderation. In moderation. So that means it's, it's not for some people and that's fine for them. That's their own choice. But me, I choose to do it once in a while yeah. because it changes my perception and I enjoy it. How does it feel to be stoned? Oh, it feels, um, it depends on what you do. I mean, there's some crappy stuff out there circulating. I wish that the government would just legalize it so that that crappy stuff isn't circulating. It's just crap, man. So every once in a while but, you get a uh, bad package, Every once eh? in a while a guy comes along and he throws your way a really good little baggie and it changes your life. Really? In what it's, way? It's and you, small, Well, you don't sleep things. for four days or something, but like not combined, you know, oh, you get okay. a little rest in between those four days, but... This from smoking weed? Well, no, sleep, just, must from, be some just from being intuitive and really? smoking weed and just gotcha. having, having being a in touch feeling with Mother about Nature. it all, yeah. Healthcare card? Thank you. In this pocket because you're going to the hospital. Could you put it in my wallet, perhaps? Yeah. Yeah, no problem. We're going to keep your pipe. It's the small things in life that keep us going, eh, man? <laughs> well, enjoy it because it costs 45 bucks. What does? My pipe. That costs 45 bucks? Yeah. You got ripped off, man. It's soapstone. I'm going to start making my own out of antlers. You know, I figure if, it, if an animal died, it may as well go to some pleasurable use. Exactly. You're very spiritual, eh? I know. That's good. Let's go chill on the bench here. And see. There you have the uh, soapstone hash pipe. It's a little filter in there. They put their weed on there and smoke it up. You could feel so much better if you loved each other and reciprocated the feeling. You got some really good ideas, man. Well, I just know from experience. How old are you? 21. I'm strong, I'm able, I'm intelligent. I don't think I would even have to fill up. I'd go so far as to say you're charismatic. Yes. Charismatic, yeah. Charismatic. You guys must be like everywhere. Like I saw you everywhere last night. Like, let's put this down. We are everywhere. Why is it taking so long? <laughs> There's never a cop around when you need one, eh? There's never a cop hey, around hey, when you need one. But you're not in office yet. You know, you're allowed to question us. I think there will be a day when we won't even need police officers. And we'll just have a system of self-government that will be all prevailing and just totally encompassing. And uh, this guy's good. Got some good words. <laughs> you're good. Those are some and good $3 just, words. It's not just me. There's other people out there that are going to help develop these ideas, write them down, and, and uh, distribute them to people. And I believe that I'm going to be the founder of this book, the, the, the head main focal point of some sort, and create a second version of the book for free. The only difference between Free is good. The only difference between the first book and the second book is the first book cost fifteen twenty dollars, and it comes with my band CD. I like that multimedia. That's the way to go. What's the name of your band? Uh, it's undecided as of now. Can I have some input on this one? Uh, perhaps you can. You can offer your suggestions. Sure. I'm thinking we have. I'm thinking may maybe maybe, a, maybe something needs to like be a band with no name at all. Cra crazy potheads take over Canada. Well, I think that's a little long. Maybe it could sh be shortened into an acronym. What is what is that an acronym for? Crazy CP. Potheads. CP. It's a lot like cops. There you go. Hey. Yeah, crazy officers <laughs> patrolling the streets. Cops. Uh, psychos. Psychos. <laughs> I don't know. I know cycle starts with P, but... What fanatically, though, fanatically, it's not bad. What instrument do you play, or you just sing? I just sing. What kind of music do you guys play at your band? We play a lot of hard rock, and we want to play a lot of experimental stuff of our nice. own. And, uh, it's, uh, yeah, it, we're at a point now where... Uh, Constable Fisher is really into experimental rock. You should guys talk? Who do you mention yourself after? <laughs> Oh, this guy's going on a favorite band. voluntary a mental health act Mr. assessment. A voluntary? Yeah. Uh, that's I well love it when they're voluntary. Yeah. He loves got tragic. Oh, man, what is up with that? With the He's nasty. You know what? It's just a drop off. Nasty. Drop him off oh, there. It's not a form 10. Just take him there, and uh, he's going to voluntarily submit himself for assessment. That seems like a nice young kid. Like I said, he's a little bit confused, but some of his ideas seem to uh, resound pretty well with my partner here and myself. Uh, I'm not sure about the idea of getting everyone to smoke pot, but... The part about everybody working, I was big on that. Yeah. If you're not working in Alberta, you got problems. That's the truth. And, uh...
who knows, maybe will be our next prime minister. What's going on? Police. One person in this room. You stay there. Who else is here, man? What's going on? What's that? Okay. This guy is okay. slapped my old lady, man. I don't like that, man. Okay. I'll, I'll show you straight up, man. Okay. Fair enough. Supposedly, her cousin. He's like, uh, he's, he's coming in the back alley. I'm gonna show you this. He came in here, her sister was here. She got into a fight with her sister. Her sister left, right? And these guys are coming into here. And who hit her in the mouth? Uh, some, that guy over there. See? And they're sleeping in here. Which I don't want that I, hit? Yeah, yeah. And I don't want I don't want these fing people in here. Okay, put the board back for now. And I don't I don't want these fing people in here. Like I I already made a complaint on the cops and stuff like that. And and these people are they they, they don't care. Like see those people there that live there? Like this guy right here? I can talk to this guy right here. He'll tell you straight up. They're they're coming here and they're sleeping in here and they're fing bother my life. Are you leasing in here? This is my, well, Connie. Yeah. Connie and me are, this is our place. That's your place. Well, yeah. who does the old girl in the front there says it's her place? Well, that's my old lady. That's... Well, who are you in the back room here with then? Uh, the girl right there, uh, Darlene? Yeah, what's that's she doing? That's my old lady. That's my old lady. You got two old where, ladies where, in there? No, no, my brother, Elvis, is the one that, Connie? Yeah. Okay. Alice is the fighting or whatever there is. Who owns the trailer? I do. This is like my my uh, my girlfriend Connie. Well, she goes over my brother, right? This is her place. But I rent the basement suite. Okay. And this guy right here, like next door, he'll tell you the whole truth. Man. They just moved in. I was just out here last week. Yeah. No. Well, well there, there's people that are coming here and just wrecking everything. I don't see any damage to the trailer. No, no. I had to put that back. Like that. They're coming at like 3 o'clock in the morning. I told the cops that already, man. I don't need this rush. Okay, but what about tonight? We're doing what happened tonight? What happened tonight? Well, not she, she, she wanted to find the cops because these guys are threatening her. Threaten her how? I, I don't want, I want, like, uh, I don't want, uh, nobody sleeping in here. Okay, I know, but we're... Pardon me? Okay. Well, no, but we're dealing. You. We're dealing with what happened tonight. So what happened tonight? Who hit? Uh, these guys at uh, the the the, the Melissa's. They're they're bothering my old lady. Okay, like by that. bothering her, how? They're like bugging her, bugging her, bugging her, bugging her. Can we come sleep there? Can we come and do that speedy center? Okay, back, back up, back up, man? back up, back up. You got that? You know, like that. You know, and if I pick on my old lady. My neighbor right there, I says, that's it, man. F I had enough, man. I just moved in here like two months ago, man. I don't need this bullshit. We're I getting don't... nowhere inside. She's 1018. Have you done a 30 on him yet? No, yeah. Let's try that. Maybe that'll solve the problem. You know, like these people are coming here. They're Do you talk to me for a minute? Let the officer on. do his thing here, okay? I don't, like, I don't need nobody coming in my house. Like, yeah, but you know what? You know what? There, I know that. Hit my old lady. But listen. 
I don't Somebody need phoned 911 twice from here. That's why we yeah. have to come and find yeah, out what's because, going on. Because because those people over there at the border there. And we're taking down the information. Yeah. That's why we're here, all right? Like like I can even bring my neighbor right now. I don't he'll, need to he'll, talk he'll to He'll explain to you. Don't like need he's to talk right to him. there. No, don't need to talk to him, man. Like I don't I don't need this man. I just moved in two months ago and I this is, this is stupid. I don't need nobody sister-in-law hitting my old lady or anything down the street there and bring it in here, okay. sleep in my camper. Well, you know what? We're going to go into out. the house right away and everything's going to be solved for now, okay? Because yeah. we're going to take a report, all right? Yeah. Obviously, Please. your old lady doesn't want nothing to do with the cops. I'm just going to pull it because okay. I am I'm pissed off. Man. Yeah, you don't Somebody need no trouble. Somebody touches my old lady, that's it. I. Well, that's the manly I, I thing I might go to do. overhead, but I won't. That's the manly thing to do. Yeah, okay. you gotta be careful. You don't hey, go over the line. You gotta though. look. You gotta. Do, you can't go over the line though, or it's gonna be your. I, I called you guys two days ago, and, I, and this guy named Darren. Yeah. He checked it out. He says, "Who's sleeping in there?" I says, "Okay." Okay. okay we're not getting nowhere. Let's go inside the house. Okay. Right? Yeah, better go in. It's well, cold out here. See, Okay, he's fine. Okay, oh, Manny. Oh. I, I, I'm serious. No. I'll, I'll pull a gun on that. No, man. you're not gonna pull a gun on anybody. You're gonna hit my old lady, man. Manny, she just told me some woman hit her on 118th. Yeah. So someone's not telling okay. the truth here, right? Okay. Well, right? If, if they come here tonight, I'm I'm, okay. I'm gonna. I'm hoping it. they're not, but I can tell you that Darlene hasn't been you very. You touched my old lady, right? Man. Okay. Somebody touched my old lady. I'm gonna kill him. Well, I'm straight up. I hear what you're I'm saying. I'm gonna take the law in my own hands. What I'm gonna What I'm my gonna ask you to do, right Manny? There, Manny, Manny listen, I'm gonna make a recommendation to you. Just listen. I've been. Manny, I've been doing it. Manny, for one second. Manny, one second. You know what? Don't let your temper get the best of you. Because you know what? I think like, that's you where guys trouble are doing starts. A nice job. Yeah. But All right? the thing is, I don't care. They can sleep there, whatever. Yeah. Spady Center, yeah. whatever. Well, you know what? Spady's nowhere around here. They don't have we to. We have a here. bed. They it's don't. Cool. They don't have to. Yeah. Go, go in, Manny. Have to do that. Yeah. Go in. Don't let your go don't let your temper get the best of you. Okay. What do I do? Then? What, what do you do? What 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 do I do? If the, if somebody comes here and you have a problem, phone us. You have a phone in there. I've been phoning you guys for last. Two, well, two I don't know anything about that, but you know what? Somebody phoned here tonight, and we were here right away, right? Because he's right there. My neighbor knows right there. He's right there looking, yeah. man. So, there you go. Anyway, Darlene's waiting for you. No, I'm, j I'm just saying, bro. I hear what you're I, saying, I but... I don't want nobody coming in my yard. I own... Yeah, I do. Yeah, you do. My but sister you, Yeah, it's, it's uh, Come hit Constance's my old lady place. and think they get away yeah. with it. Well, remember that it's Connie's place, right? So you're you're essentially you're a visitor here too. That's my sister. Okay. Yes. But I'm saying. All right. So look I, after business while well, Elvis is gone, I, and that's that. If if they come back tonight, like three o'clock. Okay, o'clock yeah. it's good in the morning. Enough. I don't Let's think, go. I, yeah, I don't think anybody's coming back though. I think if you go in and keep your temper down, I think things will be fine. See ya. Take care. Keep keep the music down a bit, eh? Yeah, I'll turn it. You're waking the dead there. It's Holland here. We came to uh, to investigate whether or not there had been an assault between a man and a, and a woman here. When we got here, everybody's uh, highly intoxicated and, and nobody's really very cooperative with the police at all. Uh, as it turns out, there's one lady, I think, that would like her uh, sister-in-law and her brother out of there, but I don't think she's got the, uh, the nerve to tell them to go. And the brother and sister-in-law certainly don't want us there either. So uh, it's one of these situations where obviously things are going on there in the heat of the heat of the moment. but. It's not something we're going to be able to intervene in at this point in time. So until next time, that's, that's about all we can do here. Pat's McGregor, Team 4, Sutherland, Mukai 5. And uh, uh, Vanderplug is going to be inside Division 11, uh, and she'll be doing the processing. What we're going to do is uh, with the girls, once we uh, once we pick them up and uh, we do the checks on them, and they're clear of no warrants, we'll uh, we'll uh, transport them to Division 11, uh, log them in, and double process them. Correct. And uh, if they do have warrants, then the, the teams will uh, will do, be doing the processing of, of the girls. We're planning on getting underway shortly after 3 o'clock once the briefing's done. I have cars uh, pre-arranged for the takedown teams. Um, so uh, Chris and Doogie, if you guys go to uh, Division 11, the detective's office, and just talk to Bell there. He's got a car for you guys. And as far as uh, uh, Claire and uh, Phil, just go to 
41 talk to sex crimes they got a card for you there this area here in winnipeg has uh, a high number of of girls that uh, that are working in the sex trade uh, that are prostituting themselves on the streets which is quite a concern to the business people and the people that live in the area so what we're doing is uh, we've got two undercover officers out here um, in in vehicles similar to what we're in and the the idea is uh, that they're going to go and talk to these girls and uh, in during that conversation there's they're going to end up communicating with one another um, about a sex act for money so the girls will then uh, they will offer to perform a certain sex act or whatever it is that they offer in exchange for a dollar value the guys will let the uh, let the girl get in the vehicle and then once they do that uh, and drive away then will eventually stop that vehicle and the girl that's in the vehicle is going to end up getting charged for uh, communicating Coffee. communicating for the purpose of engaging in prostitution and then once she's uh, she actually gets arrested she gets charged with that offense and that's about the only way that we can seem to get these girls into the different programs that are out there for them try and get them off of the street and out of the sex trade there she is uh, standing there trying to uh, to talk to uh, to our undercover officer, and she's just standing right by the uh, right by the vehicle. You can see her walking up to her undercover officer now. So she's just uh, she's just walking up to the UC vehicle now. He's pulled over on the side of the road. She's leaning in the uh, driver's in the driver's side window. Okay, and she's that's her there. She just jumped into our UC vehicle right now. Sorry, undercover I officers got her like in the car brown, with them, light brown, medium brown. And, uh, and they're away. You can see uh, it's just one in front of this vehicle here. It's the uh, the Grand Prix. Yeah, and that's in the north. You just crossed my block. You want me to go over the north? This is a go, guys. Uh, you should see them coming across you any second now. And there's the takedown team right there. There they go. And you'll see they're trying to get them to stop and pull over right now. You'll see the one female officer is approaching the side with the young girl in it. The other male officer is approaching our undercover officer right now. The male officer will be asking our undercover officer for identification so that he's not uh, burnt off. And the female is getting arrested right now by, uh, by the other police officer right here. What I try to get her to do is uh, relate a sexual act for a price. And uh, in this case, uh, she offered to perform a half and half, which is a street term for uh, fellatio and sexual intercourse. And then we agree on a price, uh, which in that case was uh, $50. And then at that point, uh, I drive past a determined location and the takedown team uh, pulls us over and arrests the female. Basically, our unit uh, is comprised of four constables and then myself. Uh, and our mandate is the sex trade in Winnipeg. So we basically deal with all different areas of the sex trade, not just what we're seeing today, the street stuff. These are girls working on the street, uh, prostituting themselves. Uh, we also deal with um, all the adult entertainment uh, business here in the city. We deal with all the escort agencies and the massage parlors and all of the you know, some people call them madams or whatever they may be that are running these uh, body houses. We deal with um, the agencies that are uh, dealing with the girls that are stripping at the clubs, doing that sort of stuff. And uh, Most of the bigger investigations that we deal with nowadays all have to do with um, uh, body house investigations or guys that are actually running girls. They call it pimping girls, basically, that uh, have girls, a stable of girls working for them. Um, that are, as far as we're concerned, basically forcing them out on the street and they're making money and providing these guys with a pretty good living. Tim, where's your target located? My target's at Ellis and home on the uh, north uh, west corner, sitting on some sort of box. Yeah, Tim, uh, I just went by there. She's still sitting there. Uh, she looks like a youth, probably about uh, 15 or 16. And yeah, she's just sitting there. Shoes are off and uh, flagging every car by. Okay, go for it. Uh -huh. 
Chantal, how are you? Great, I'm Chantal. So, what are you uh, up to tonight? You do anything tonight, or? I should go to sleep, but I probably. Why? How long have you been up? Okay. The undercover officer has a female in the car with him. Um, that uh, is, from what we understand, working. And uh, he's just heading towards our takedown location right now. So obviously that means that the conversation that they're having in the car um, is leading to a communication charge. You're 18? Yeah, no, they can't stop with me. Okay. Just go. Just relax. Um, uh, it's one thing, please. We'll step out of the vehicle, please. What's the problem, guys? Why are you pulling me over please. for? Step out of the vehicle, ma'am. I'm 18. Yeah, you're not innocent. I want you to get out of the car. Why? Are those your shoes right there? Yeah. Hey? Yeah. No? Yes or no? Yeah. Yeah, these are hers. All okay, those that's her shoes. shoes there, buddy. Yeah, those are huge, man. She told me she's 18, man. I don't know. Okay. Hey, you, under, you understand you're under arrest for communicating for the purpose of engaging in prostitution? Yeah. Okay, you understand that? What's going to happen is we're going to take you to the public safety building and you're going to be uh, processed for that charge, okay? The whole idea behind picking these girls up is not... We're not here trying to arrest them and put them in jail, and, and that's, that's not the answer for us. That's not the answer for them. The answer is more to get them involved with all the different social agencies that are out there. We've got agencies out there that can help with addiction problems. They can help these girls find places to live and uh, give them alternatives to being on the street, get them off the street and get them into education or, or whatever it is they need. So the whole idea behind it is when they get picked up today and they're taken to the office, uh, they're going to be introduced to, to a number of different people from different social agencies who are there just to, to help them get out of this business. He's heading into our drag area, uh, 95 Street and 105 Ave. Apparently there's a call of a female on the corner that's uh, topless, lucky us, and uh, appears to be high on drugs. So go have a look at that and see if we can make any sense out of her. Ding, didn't do it. These guys talked you into a shirt there, did they? No. No. Yeah, you better say something. Say hello to the people. Oh, here, there are you. You know what? My wife would be choked if she saw that. Ah, <laughs> my wife, your wife, they're both. Your wife and might be choked too. Sister, I think you're a mess. I am a mess. What have you been drinking? Um, well, what the heck? Huh? <laughs> Beer. Beer? So where do you want to, you want to go home or what do you want to do? I've got to find and I want to do the time. You want to do what, sorry? I missed that. I've got to find and I want to do the time. you got to find, you want to do the time. What is your find for? For uh, my common law. Your common law? You got a warrant, is that what you're telling me? You're trying to turn yourself in? Well, that's what I just said. Is that right? You, you couldn't catch that? Well, I caught it. I'm a little slower than most, though. Gonna have to repeat it. What's your name? I don't recognize you. I'm Kevin M***y's sister. You're not Boss. Kevin M***y's sister. Ah. Come on, you. Get off me there. <laughs> I don't want to want him. He's been working on the south side. You're not Kevin M***y's sister. Uh, yes, I am. Uh, Kevin M***y would be happy to know about that. <laughs> <laughs> you not come on you. Right, you're invading my personal space. We can re environment. Are you are you an environmentalist? I you probably are. Well you don't see any trees there. No, you don't, do you? So where can we take you? Well you tonight? gotta bring me to jail. We gotta bring you to jail? You guys run? I gotta I gotta do Okay. Are you living somewhere? Spady? Uncle George's? No. Oh, come on, where? Shut up! Quit talking, Zach! I am fine and I'm doing it! Why are you screaming? Uh. <laughs> Look at there, went Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin. 
<laughs> You're not planning on engaging in prostitution, are you? I might. You might? What's that? Downtown? Here? Okay. All right. Can you go with these guys, Beth? Have a good night. Take care. Nice talking Have to you. Have a safe night. And I'll say hi to Kevin for you. Okay, Beth. It's time to go. Take care. See you later. We got to run. No, no. no he no. he oh, probably gave you a kiss. There's a single man there. Come on, Beth. It's time to go. We're going to take you to a, a wonderful place. Yeah. So you I've been there. there. Oh, you've been there. I'll take you back <laughs> there. there. Let's go. Come on, Beth. I'm not gonna put down with I love you. Bye. You're not Good famous. Friday. You know what White man hung his balls on the cross. What are you doing? Come on, what are you doing? Apparently, this is the third call tonight. We were here earlier on, and um, again, everybody was drunk and uncooperative at that time. Uh, they said they wouldn't call 911 anymore because they didn't want to deal with us. But uh, evidently, there's been two more calls since then, so we're going to have to uh, see if we can sort things out because this is becoming a burden. Emmanuel, open the door. Open the door. Open the door. You guys just do the thing. I have to. It's a cop, sir. Give me the phone. What is going on in here? Nothing. Go open the door, would you please? No. Nothing going on. No. I just, I just woke I'll, up. I'll open the door here, Lance. Hang on. Okay, give me the phone. It's open, Lance. Okay, what's going on here? Okay, go sit down, okay? You know how many times you guys have called 911 tonight? Yeah. Okay, go sit down. Go sit down. Go sit down. You, know you are going to get yourself in some trouble, young lady. Go sit, go down, sit down. down. Go sit down. Now. Go sit down. Go sit down. Go sit down. Darlene, sit down. I don't care if it's her phone. You know what? It's, look at the blood all over the place. Whose house is it? Do you see blood? Yeah, I do. Go sit down. Take where? One, two, three. Go sit down. Go sit down. Look at this. Okay, are you going to go sit down? Yeah. Enough. Do you want them out? I heard you yelling to them to get out. Do you want them out? Now this is the third. Okay, get your stuff. You guys are going. Yeah. Can you drive me to Yes, I can. Yes. No. But there's going to be no more calls tonight. Okay. Okay, we're going. Yeah. Okay. There has been enough. Can I take a few few things, bro? You know what? Whatever you can take in 30 seconds, Emmanuel, because enough's enough. Yeah, but it's okay. 30 seconds. You know what? You can come back and get your stuff tomorrow or when you're sober. Uh, we'll but we're, we don't have time tonight for this, and that's the problem. Just drive these. Okay, yes. thank you. Let's go. You okay, let's go, babe. The two of you have had enough to drink, and there's enough fighting going on in here. You know what? We stood outside and listened for five minutes at all the screaming and hollering going on in here, and enough is enough. Okay. Come on, Darlene. Let's go. Do you need a jacket? Yeah, I got a... Go ahead there, Darlene. Okay. Okay, Connie, do you mind not opening the door? Okay, if I come back. Okay, like go to bed here now. Now you'll have some peace and quiet. This is what you call, okay. um... Deal? This is what you call when you go on TV. Yeah. Are you okay? Well, after returning to that residence there for the second time tonight, and the third 911 call, um, 
the lady of the house or the person that was renting it uh, communicated to us that she would like to see those people leave as well uh, because obviously they had well enough to drink. Uh, we were able to convince them to go to uh, the female's mother's house um, or I'm not sure there'll be any less of a problem. That'll probably be where we end up going next, but um, at any rate, that's uh, at least calmed things down for a little while, hopefully. to a call of a suicidal uh, male, 25 years old. It says on the call here that the male took pills. Good here. He's beating on people. EMS is staging, so EMS is going to wait for us until we get there. Um, so not a whole lot of information on here. No weapons on, and mother's trying to hold the guy down. So that's our that's our update there. Um, I guess there's no weapons, but mom is trying to hold this guy down because he's fighting with them. So come. Hello, city police. Yeah, right here. Right here. Yeah. Oh, look at this. It's my son. Okay. Well, you got him. Yeah. Can you okay. get off him yeah. for a sec? Okay. You know what? When you get off him for a sec, so I can talk to him. You know what? Can you get off him? Yeah. All right, you get off him, and we'll talk to him. I, I gotta go pee. All right, well, I'll go pee. You're not gonna play with us, are you? You will. Okay. You will? Grand. Okay. Let me Come have a on, Can you just back away so that we can do it? Come on, me. That's my yeah. son. He's, He's harmless. Come on up. He to just took some Well, we need to get him to the ambulance then. Okay. Hey, Grand. Don't what be stupid. What are you doing? Oh, get out of the way. Get out of the I'm way. I'm just gonna throw some cuffs on him. You know what? Can you back away, please? There. I'm not going to tell you again. You're not helping this Get away from him! We need to find these pills, because if they don't know what he's taken, they can't he's help him. Volume him 5 and rest of all. He's going to ascertain what was taken. I'm going to get him outside. Okay. He's got to get some air. Don't start kicking. Don't start kicking. Come on. Not a good idea to start kicking, okay? I did not take anything. Have you been drinking today? Hmm? Yes. How much did you drink today? A six. A which? A six. A sixth? Two six. He does have ID? I think so. No, I have, I have no ID. No? So what we're going to do is we're going to get the ambulance to take you to the hospital and check you out, OK? Because we're worried that you've taken some pills, OK? But just so you know, Grant, if you start fighting with the ambulance people, it's not going to go very well for you, OK? So no kicking. You kick and you get tied down to the bed. If you cooperate, then they'll be real good with you. Is that a deal? Yes. Okay. That was my sister. You just don't like your sister? She put pills in my mouth. Your sister put pills in your mouth? Yes. Which one? Which sister? Elaine. Why would she do something like that? She's going to be a bitch. And she is not any good. Okay. Why would she want you to take pills, though? Get hmm? Do you know, Grant? No, I don't. I'm How sorry. many do you think she put in your mouth? I I only took two. Just two? I only took two. I only took two. That's the truth. Yes. Okay. But you think you should probably get checked out, hey? Because you're feeling a little slow here. Do you feel a little slow? Yeah, I do. Okay. He's an adult when he's ready to go home. If he wants to call you guys, he can, but he's going to be at the RA if you guys need to know where he's at. You can let mom know or whoever. Okay. Okay? Yeah. All right, thanks. We just had a call of a suicidal man. Once we got here, on the call it said that mom had been holding him down. He was fighting with family. We got into the suite and sure enough, she's sitting on him, holding him down, and he wasn't very happy with his family. He's had a ton to drink tonight. He says a 2-6. Um, according to family, he also took a bunch of Valium. 
so he's pretty out of it. Um, basically, I don't know what he's upset about with his family, but um, the ambulance was called because of the pills that he's taken and the alcohol. He's going to go to the hospital and get checked out by a doctor just to make sure that everything's okay. And uh, for whatever reason, he decided to take an overdose of pills tonight with, with alcohol. So probably not the first time and probably not the last time we'll deal with him, but hopefully he gets sorted out tonight. And Delta 11's with him. Um, we're just going to an overdose female, overdose on drugs. EMS is on scene. Uh, it says a 35-year-old female is going berserk on EMS, uh, fighting with them. So we're just arriving now. I guess we'll find out a little bit more here. We need you to calm down so we can talk to you in the ambulance. Can you do that for us? All right. So there's something going wrong with your body. It's probably all the drugs that you take. No. It's okay. How you doing? Uh, Sorry. Uh, How you doing? Uh, You're okay. Uh, okay. Uh, relax, 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 relax. It's okay. It's okay. You're okay. We're gonna help okay. you. Okay. Uh, We're just gonna help you. Do you want to just sit still for a sec? Can you sit still for a sec? No, 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 no. We're just gonna hit you. My arm. My arm. It's okay. It's got a lot of cash here. I don't want to be digging in here. She's smoking something. Holy crap. resin. Okay. Yeah, I don't see anything in here without digging in. Hands in there too. Uh, One fifteen, but it's for me. Okay. Are these hurts? She'll go in with the ambulance to the hospital, basically just to get checked out for possible overdose of, of drugs. Um, probably not, it's probably just that she's got some coke in her system right now and she's just, it makes her paranoid and, and delusional, but um, she'll probably be fine and, and hopefully released shortly. Looks like a park ranger has found something what he believes are human remains. It's like a, he's found a single bone sticking out of the ground in a park. Yeah, I don't know what that could be. If you look inside, it's pretty porous to be like a... Well, it's a bone, yeah, it's a, it's a bone for yeah. sure. Control from Hotel 31. Yeah, maybe I'll get the OSM to come by here. See it right in through there? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. What the uh, reporter, he... I'll give you the full thing here. About a year ago, this reporter found it. This something good striker found it. Called the uh, Parks and Rec people. See, so, yeah, I found this bone and uh, it's down in the park. So they didn't do anything about it oh. at that time. So I, I said nobody did anything about it. Two to three weeks ago, same good striker guy. Phone says, yeah, the bone is still there. At that time, somebody was sent out and they didn't find anything. They said what they found was a tree root. Oh. So no, nothing was done again. Police weren't called, nothing. Okay. Then Monday, he phoned again, saying it's still there. I've marked it now with some flags yeah. to know where it is. Okay. And then one of the head guys with Parks and Rec, he came out here and he found it. Then we, he called us. And, okay. Hey, I didn't remember is going to, uh, he'll survey the scene here, take a look at what we have, uh, take some photographs of it. Mark all in his notes of where exactly his positioning of the bone, how deep in the dirt it is. He'll then uh, pull that bone out of the dirt, photograph the bone fully once it's out of the dirt. He'll bag it, uh, seal it up, take it to the medical examiner's office. And then once there, I guess, uh, 
apparently what he's saying is that the medical examiner will be able to, to identify this bone today just by looking at it immediately if it's uh, animal bone or human bone. Uh, if it's a human bone, we'll be back out here to uh, contain the scene, start digging or calling out the troops of uh, all the kind of investigators to start this.